Hello Internet! Today we have this very unusual 7900XTX that came in for repair with a tiny little dent and some scratches here and there. Otherwise, the card is sealed and according to its owner, it stopped working after transport. In case you didn't know, 7900XTX has a chiplet design GPU. Previously, Vega series had already attempted this approach and it ended up in a lot of dead GPUs due to failed memory that cannot be replaced. My guess is that AMD has learned that the chiplet design equals to a higher fail rate and instead of taking a step back into the right direction, they came up with this. Windows detected the GPU correctly but with an error code 43, which is most likely memory or BIOS related error. So let's run a memory test and see if any of the chips report a problem. Looks like two chips report a problem that are at the top of the left corner. Very unusual problem if you ask me, but I've seen enough weird stuff from AMD and this surprises me very little. In any case, since we have two chips reporting errors and we have a sign of an impact, there's no point to diagnose it any further, and we'll go straight into the reball. My guess is we're going to end up having a few rip pads under the core, and maybe the memory chips, or maybe we get lucky and it was simply a cracked solder joint somewhere in between. Okay, reball is done, resistances look good, data lines checked, and voltage is good. But when I powered the card, it did not give me a picture. So let's plug the HDMI cable back into the motherboard and run a memory test again, and there we have it. It reports the exact same channels. 
after looking around and finding no signs of damage, giving the biggest benefit of the doubt that the memory chips are faulty, I decided to replace them anyway. Not wanting to take any chances of an error, I checked every data line for these chips and everything looked good. So we are safe to proceed to replace them with another pair. I only had two of these chips in stock, so let's see if that works. Chips were replaced, resistances are normal, so let's power on and see if anything changes. Yep, we see a change, but it's not a good change. On top of previously failed channels, a new channel came up and it's on the opposite side of the core. Usually, this is a sign of a failed reball, where one or more balls did not properly attach to the board due to low heat or not enough soak time. So I went ahead and I gave it a reflow, but that did not help, and we're still stuck with three failed channels. I highly doubt BIOS has anything to do with it, but I went ahead and I flashed it anyway, who knows card did not post on its own, but it is now saying that there are no failed channels. At first I thought to myself, this is it? That's all I had to do to fix this? Is this another one of those AMD cards that was flashed to death and all I had to do is to flash it back to stock? But no, card still does not produce a picture, so I put the original BIOS chip back on and call it a day. I'll try to reball it tomorrow and see if maybe there's a gray pad somewhere that I missed. Who knows? So the reball is done. Resistances are normal and voltages look normal, so I put it straight into the memory test and it still gives me exact same errors. I tried to change the chip under the C, but it moved to another channel instead, which is on the opposite side of the core again. It is at this moment that he knew. AMD's messed up. I think that the reason for this behavior is the chiplet design. Connection between them has broken due to an impact, and instead of repads or broken solder joints under the core, you get a completely dead GPU, all thanks to AMD. My only hope at this point is that the next generation NVIDIA will not have chiplet design core. Oh wait. There's a small line between two dies. There's no memory locality issues, no cache issues. It's just one giant chip. Chip, 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 chip. Well, prepare to burn your money. Lots of money. Goodbye. Oh, and by the way, customer donated this card for parts, so thanks, bro.